Hi, everyone, and welcome to another SpaceX update video. In case you missed my last video, Starship S25 has already been destacked from the booster on the orbital launch mount. But it will not leave the pad because it doesn't have SPMTs underneath the stand and I don't see any reasons for it. According to Kathy Luters, SpaceX's general manager at Starbase, the company is working closely with the FAA to obtain the license. She said S25 has been de-stacked for FTS installation and final checks on the vehicle. But I think just not yet because FTS installation will happen once they secure the FAA license, which is expected in the next few weeks. She mentioned that it will take an estimated two to three weeks to complete the licensing process, aligning with the recent Reuters report. We, we have been, we've been obviously meeting very closely together and um, I'm hoping that we get this done in the next two or three weeks, but we just gotta do the work, right? We just gotta do the work. I used to always tell everybody, we're not gonna fly till we're ready. In the meantime, SpaceX has been busy testing its Raptor engines. These tests include simulating engine behavior in space-like conditions, cooling them down to extreme cold temperatures, and evaluating their performance during a lunar surface descent burn. These Raptor engines will be crucial for the Starship lunar version, NASA's human landing system for the Artemis program. NASA says data reviews from these tests show early confidence in the company's engine development. And I am sure Raptors will only get better and will become reliable interplanetary rocket engines. Elon Musk, as always, reacted to these tests in his typical style, Moon Soon. Unfortunately, tonight's Starlink launch from SLC-40 at Cape has been scrubbed. SpaceX will make another attempt tomorrow night at 11.57 p.m. Eastern Time. That's all for now. Thanks for tuning in, and be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any important updates in my next video. Signing out for now.